Well, now we're going to go to ABC 10's Bridget Biorlo. She's at the Sacramento International Airport talking about Memorial Day weekend travel. Good morning, Bridget. What can travelers expect? Good morning, Jordan. We could see a travel frenzy here at the airport where it's going to look a lot like it did before the pandemic. So expect those big crowds, those full flights. And we're already starting to see some of the crowds form. A lot of people were here getting ready for that first 6 a.m. flight of the day. You see some travelers unloading here. A lot of them getting dropped off, which is very smart because parking is not very optional right now. Travel officials say at the airport we're expecting 20,000 travelers per day in Sacramento starting today through Tuesday and that's numbers we haven't seen since 2019. It's a trend we're also seeing nationally triple A projecting around three and a half million people traveling by airplane this holiday weekend. That's 11% more than last year and though we are inching closer to summer ticket prices are going up but it's not deterring people from traveling. People are really booking those flights in numbers. Demand is higher than it's been in several months and officials say the best thing you can do is make a plan before heading to the airport this holiday weekend. This year we're expecting to see pre pandemic numbers coming through the airport or about 100,000 people from beginning tomorrow, Friday till Tuesday, and those are right on line with what we saw right before the pandemic. Parking is a premium this at, right now at this time of year with the airport because of the holidays. We are seeing a lot of people traveling. Um, our parking garage actually has been filling up every day but Monday for about the past month. So any way you can find to get to the airport without having to drive your own car, it's just going to relieve a lot more stress on yourself and really help us out as well. So it's nice to see the life return back to the airport. Well, with that comes the hassle. So definitely pack your patience. Give yourself plenty of time. The rule of thumb, two hours ahead of time for your domestic flights, three hours for international flights. Bria AAA is projecting this could be the busiest Memorial Day weekend since 2005. Yeah, expecting 42 million travelers across roads, air, everything. So Bridget, for those who are traveling by sky, what are some of the top destinations in Sacramento? So this is pretty interesting, Bria. Southern California one, Seattle another. That's pretty typical, not too surprising. But a lot of people are planning their summer vacations and starting them earlier. We are talking about Las Vegas, Mexico, Hawaii, all top destinations if you're flying out of Sacramento International Airport, Bria. Right, yeah, they do say Memorial Day starts summer, so people starting on those vacations. Bridget, thank you. Also, AAA forecasting 37.1 million people driving somewhere this Memorial Day weekend. Our Jordan Tolbert has what you need to know before you go. Jordan. Hey, good morning, Walt and Bria. If you're watching this and you're starting your road trip today, well, my advice and AAA's advice is leave right now. That's because AAA says today will be the busiest driving day on the road for the next week or so, and experts suggest leaving early before noon. There are a few other things you should also know before you drive. This Memorial Day weekend, AAA is forecasting a 6% increase in the number of people driving this year compared to last. AAA's John Trainer says prep your car before any big trip. Before you go, have your car checked. If you don't feel safe doing it yourself, have your fluid levels checked, have your battery level checked, and make sure that your tires are inflated. Trainer says heat can impact cars, and in summer months, they see an uptick in calls for emergency roadside assistance and help at auto repair centers. It does real damage on your car, batteries especially, or battery life is really short in hot climates during the summer. You want to make sure you have important things for your car. You want to make sure you have a, a flat tire repair kit, a spare tire, jumper cables, things like that that can assist you on the roadway. Also keep water, blankets, and food in your car just in case. And a bit of good news, gas is a great deal cheaper in the Sacramento area compared to last year. Sacramento last year was paying an average of 603 a gallon, this year 465. So what a difference a year does make, but you'll still want to shop around. Even with lower prices, those dollars spent along the way can really add up. Patrick DeHaan with Gas Buddy, who tracks prices of gas, says you can drive more fuel efficiently by setting the crews at a lower speed, while still obeying posted speed limit signs, of course. So if you're not in a rush, slowing down, shopping around, and signing up for a free loyalty program can all work to save you 
anywhere from 25 to 50 cents a gallon this holiday. Sounds pretty good, right? And another big thing is to avoid driving distracted to keep you, your family, and other drivers safe. Trainer says this could look like removing screens from around the driver, putting in directions before you go, and designating the passenger as the point person for snack distribution. Yeah, that's some <laughs> good stuff there, Jordan. Really good advice. And Jordan also mentioned a little earlier that we'd be seeing cheaper gas prices overall this year. So let's go ahead and take a closer look in our area. First, here's what you'd be paying at the pump on average across California, $4.82. Now compare that to last year, where if you believe it or not, we were paying almost a dollar and a half more, $6 for a gallon of gas. So if we take an even closer look, people in the greater Sacramento region, you're paying more than $4 right now. People in Stockton and Modesto also seeing about the same prices with Modesto at the cheapest, $4.57.